Hello YouTube, my name is Tiara. I am currently eight months pregnant with my second boy and I'm gonna give you a tour of my master bedroom. It's a small master bedroom, but I'm gonna give you guys a tour of how we are co-sleeping, co um, which means that the baby will be basically living in our room for the first year. So, um, yeah. So Stay the tuned. reason that most parents um, co-sleep with their new baby because like on a scale of realistic and fantasy realistically you're not gonna want to get up every time the baby whines at night and cry at night to go feed the baby so it makes more sense for the baby to be sleeping inside of the same room as their parents so um you know um Babies, they tend to wake up like every other hour, every two, three hours throughout the night. And you don't want to have to keep having to get up and go all the way in the next room. And plus, another reason why we're co-sleeping is because um, the extra bedroom that we have for this baby is currently occupied by a family member. So, um, it all makes sense. So guys, this is like a quick overview of the side that the baby will be on and also my side of the room so um yeah so starting right here on like the long dresser i have this changing area and i have like this changing pad right here and anytime i need to use it to change him I will just easily sit it on top of the dresser like so and I just keep this pillow right on the side of this little dresser and so I have his wipe warmer and I have like this humidifier that I had since um, my first baby well my first son was a baby and we just still didn't use it and forgive me for these cords you guys because i'm currently using my ring light and i have it connected to these cords so right here we have the diaper pal and then next to it i have like diapers and wipes a newborn and then right here i bought an extra um well i already had this gray then the dresser thing the three one but i had bought a second one and i just took like the top off and i just uh you know double stacked it like that so in this first dresser i just have like the socks and like mittens and hats and like a couple of bibs and towels and you guys i'm sorry if y'all hear the background noise my son is currently watching cartoons so he won't be bothering me and also i apologize for how i'm breathing the girl is tired just from talking <laughs> but in this second drawer uh drawer i just have like blankets and sheets for the crib and his bassinet and then in this next one i have his uh his newborn onesies and i have a couple of uh uh, what are these like sleepers? Uh, I guess pack and play, but I don't know what they call it. it's a newborn because he won't be doing any playing. <laughs> and so, um, I just have long sleeve onesies in the back. I didn't want to buy too much newborn clothes because I know that um, newborns like tend to gain loss of weight really fast and outgrow their clothes. So. I didn't want to get too much. I just have a zero to three months um, clothes in here. I have onesies and I have those more of those pack and play, pack and play um, things back there. And then in this one, I just have his um, three months clothes. I didn't buy too much. Um, so as he grow older and older, I'll just, you know, stock up on some more clothes. 
and then in this last dresser i just have like three to six months and again i don't want to buy too much because i don't know how the weather going to be you know this baby is due in november and by the time you know he gets to like three to six months i don't know how big he's going to be and how the weather will be so yeah that's that so his crib y'all let me tell y'all this crib is brand new but i got it for twenty dollars this couple um they were selling it because they never use it they just used to have like uh teddy bears in there so i bought this one and underneath it i just um store like extra diapers and extra wipes down there and then right here i just have his uh his diaper bag right there and then i have like this cute little um protection blanket i guess you want to say and then i have my um my breastfeeding pillow right here and then i bought this sheet i think from walmart or target and i think it's just so cute you um you want it right here and it'll just Seeing a little nursery rhyme and I like it it's really soft but yeah this is my uh, pregnancy pillow because I do not pregnancy pillow um, nursing pillow because I do plan on um, I do plan to breastfeed so I got that right here next to the crib I have his bassinet which we will be using like as soon as the baby get out the hospital because um you know he's so small and there's a lot of space inside his crib so he'll use this for like the first two or three months and i also i also got this from a couple for 40 bucks again it's brand new never been used they still had it in the box so i got a great deal on that and then over here is my nightstand. And that's how that looks. Oh, and then I have this picture that I've already had. Enjoy the little things. And I might put some more stuff on this wall. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, this is my nightstand. And this top drawer has my personal stuff in it, so I won't even open it. And so, this second drawer has like, um, you know, his baby essential stuff. Um, you know, a grooming kit. And I'm so anxious to try this because I want, I wanted this last time. Um, for my other, for my other son, but I wasn't able to get it. So I'm happy I was able to get it this time. And then I just have like this um, essential kit with like um, his butt paste and you know gas relief, fever pain, nasal spray and stuff. And I have more saline spray, even though it comes with some. Cause I found that I I went through a lot of these. Well, not a lot of these, but I use this a lot. So yeah, just got an extra one. I wanted to get this one because it goes over the forehead, so I won't be, my boys won't be sharing each other's germs, you know? And then this next drawer, I just have like his um, baby wash and his little lotion and like stuff for the diaper pal. Like these, uh, you know, to keep the smell away. Cause like I, like I said, the baby gonna be waking up a few times like a lot of times throughout the night and you're not gonna wanna take no damn diaper all the way outside. So that's where the diaper pal come in. And then next to my nightstand, I have this um, air purifier and it has like this germ germinator light, the UV light on there. So that'll help with like sickness and stuff like that so yeah that concludes my little nursery slash master room tour um bedside nursery or whatever you want to call it um so thank you guys for watching this video definitely tune in because i will be doing more 
videos um what is it yeah i will be doing more videos and make sure you guys like comment and subscribe um if you have any questions make sure to put it in the comment section at the bottom and yeah thank you guys so much